Morning everybody, I'm going to show you a little bit about what you people can expect to see during National Racehorse Week which takes place between the 12th and the 19th of September this year. So I'll show you a little insight this morning. Trainers will be opening their doors to the public for National Racehorse Week and I'm just going to show you the love, the care and attention that these horses receive 365 days a year. So we're out on the gallops this morning, this is where the horses do their exercise, you're about to see five or six horses come up the short gallop there. Behind me is the long gallop where they do some more vigorous exercise, which we call work. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, typically, that's when they do some schooling, so they'll improve their jumping over the fences and over the hurdles. And on Sundays, just like myself, they have a day off. So I'm here with Mark. Mark is the farrier, and we've got at first glance the horse. And Mark, just a very basic guard, how, how often are you up here? Um, I come in most mornings and then that just keeps on top of everything then. Just check them out and have them shod regularly. Just shoot them every month and then they're always up together and ready to get on and race or wherever they're going to go. He's very busy is Mark, so we'll leave him to it. So here's the horses in the walker. now. They've just come in after doing a bit of exercise on the gallops. This is where they'll cool down for about 15 minutes, stretch their legs out, and then they'll be brought back out, popped into their stable, and have a nice bite to eat afterwards. So what we got now, guys, is Palmer's Hill. He's going for a little dip in the water. What the pool does here, it can help strengthen the horse. It can help them recover from injury. Just like our humans, we can go swimming and help rebuild our muscles. It's a great exercise technique as well, and a different way to train them, to get them fit. He's a fantastic swimmer, Palmer's Hill. Olympic style. So I'm here with Locks Corner. He is a winning machine. In the back is Courts de Rue, and they're just both having a little bite of grass. They've done their bit of morning exercise, and he's happy enough. So as you can see as well on Locks Corner, his coat is absolutely shimmering. His summer coat's come through, and that's always a good sign as well. You can pick a nice looking racehorse in the paddock based on the shimmer on their coat and he looks fantastic and the results are proving that. So I'm here with Quartz de Rue and this is a solarium. I like to call it a sunbed but the horse isn't getting a tan right now. What he's got is heated lamps on him which just helps ease his muscles, relax his muscles. You're enjoying yourself aren't you? He's fairly relaxed as well. He loves the heat so it's just another muscle recovery aid. Fluffy little ears. Right, so I'm off to see the girls now. These five girls are all on their summer holiday. My favourite horse is in here, Annie Mack, and I've got a bag full of carrots. And what they do on their summer holidays, they get turned out into the field, they get to enjoy a few months off, eat all the grass, and then they'll be back in training in about a month's time. So we're gonna go give us some treats now. So everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the tour for National Racehorse Week. I've got a job to do, haven't I? I've got to go and feed Annie Max some more carrots. So I'll say goodbye to you. I'm going to go see my other friend. <laughs> <laughs>